Hey, it's Little Adorable coming at you with a different kind of video. Instead of playing video games, I'm going to be answering some questions that y'all had asked me on Twitter. So without further ado, I need to take up my phone. If I can log in. Get rid of those notifications I don't care about. There is a hair. Oh, no. Okay. Awesome questions. Okay, who are we going to start with first? We've got <laughs> Full is Trash asking where would you go once covid is over somewhere with a beach anywhere with a beach like i i miss the beach i'm gonna get back in the water i don't have to worry about it like anyone else around me but somewhere with a beach uh what's your dream when you're comes to content creation um I don't know, just letting people like relax and like have a laugh. It's fun it's fun when you make people laugh, like not to like certain 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 extent. Like nobody gets hurt and like everything's fine, but like definitely making people laugh. Dog or cat? Dog. Like all the way dog when it comes to dog versus cat. I have my own dog. She over there though. She being cute. My little Oakley, I love her. Um, what's life like living with so many siblings? Definitely better. So I got married a few years ago and live with my husband and now my dog. Um, but growing up with four siblings <laughs> was fun. Uh, always crazy, but you always had a buddy to play with, which was nice. Whether it was video games, football, dud. What else did we play? Ghost in the Graveyard. Outside, hide and go seek in the basement. That was a lot of fun. Who's who's the fave sibling and why is it Moo? Like, do I even have to say why she's the favorite? Because, like, everybody knows she's the favorite. She's great. I I love her. Like, she, she great. She great. She great. Why do you like black so much? Um... No, no reason at all. Oh no, I lost it. It's just a great color. I like it, it's dark. If you exclude black though, I will say blue is my favorite color. But I, I love black. Okay, Lost Memories, I lost. Asked, did you ever think that you'd be a YouTuber and content creator? No. Um, like in middle school, no. But a couple years ago, before I actually started, yes. I just didn't have the time to do it. And now I do. So I'm dabbling a little bit. Still trying to find my niche and like what works for me, what I like best in that sense. How are we looking? We looking good. Um, but yeah. Um, Lost also asked, and if you were a dog breed, oh no. Which dog breed would you be? Low to medium energy and one that enjoys water, like swimming in water. That'd be like a lab golden retriever kind of mix, I guess. Not a small dog. I, I do not like small dog breeds, so I do not see myself as a small dog, at least. So maybe like a golden retriever. Sure. Um, okay, next question is, I see the face, it's the, like, um, zero underscore zero, or maybe they're capital O's, I can't tell, zero, huh, so, like, the face with the, with the big eyes. Who are your favorite and least favorite Pokemon? Oh. Hmm. Um... I mean, throwback to the originals, Squirtle, Growlithe, Ponita, Seal, definitely Squirtle and Growlithe are at the top, for sure. Least favorite, Bidoof. It's just so stupid. I don't like it. And mm, I don't like Bidoof. <laughs> Enough said. Okay, now we got Cringing Crisis. Hi! 
Um, how has having someone in your family who's considered an online influence changed you in any way? I just brag more about my so well, I know I know which one you're talking about, but I still brag about all my younger siblings at work. Like when Twitch Rivals was going on, um, I would have it up on my desk on my phone and then some of my work teammates and other people were like, what are you watching? And I'm just like, my younger brother. Which, that was really cool to be like, yeah, he's in Vegas. Didn't take me with him though, because I wanted to catch Pokemon. Wouldn't have gone there to support him though. I totally would have gone for the Pokemon. Um, but yeah, and then other people, like, I have yet to meet, like, a fan in real life of his but it's still cool telling other people who don't watch him. Uh, they just watch other content and whatnot. They don't watch Minecraft. Sorry. Um, okay, who we got next? Lovey J20. Lovey. No, Love Che. I'm sorry. I added an extra Y. Love J20. Favorite book? Like book book or manga? I'm going to go with book. And I'm going to say Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban. Like, that entire series, like, just the series, the world, the characters, like, still my favorite. Still my favorite. What do I collect? Books and manga, which this is blocking my three, I need four bookshelves now. Um, all of my books, um, for sure. Rings? Do you count my rings? I need more. I have 14. Um, favorite game slash game series, Ori. Ori in the Blind Forest, and then Ori and Will of the Wisp. Like, it's so beautiful. Like, that was my first YouTube video, was me playing the first game. It's so beautiful. The art, the graphics, the music. I listen to the soundtracks. Like, it's so great. I've contemplated getting an Ori tattoo. Uh, favorite meal. Mmm, I love food. Favorite meal. Probably steak, medium rare, with mashed potatoes. Don't hold the butter on them because you I need butter on my potatoes. In my potatoes rather. Um grilled asparagus. If I had to say, which my husband has perfected, because he knows it's one of my favorite dishes to eat. Um, who we got next? Tay Script underscore. Hey! First anime you watched? Probably Pokemon. If you don't count that, then like Sailor Moon. If you don't count that, then Hamtaro but probably Pokemon because of the older brother, which, you know, then I and I still enjoy it. Favorite anime of all time? Oh, that's such a hard question, because I have so many that I like. Um, FMA, Full Metal Alchemist, that series is just great. It's one that I own. If I really, really like a anime manga series I like need to have it um that or like my hero academia I really really love that one uh blasty boy is my favorite <laughs> oh, I knew he was gonna be my favorite even before I started watching it it was like this one that angry Pomeranian is gonna be my favorite uh, which probably then goes into favorite anime of all time would be my hero um, and also current anime slash manga that you enjoy. My hero takes up a lot right now. Sorry if that's a lot of questions. Don't be sorry. I love those kind of questions. Okay, who we got? Blackout underscore 2023. Hey! Favorite class to play in D&D &D and go-to weapon or item for that class. Um, it has to be Rogue because... I don't know how well, what's the best angle? Do I need to turn more? There we go. I have a dagger tattoo. Um, so go-to weapon would be a dagger. Um, 
there was a time I was playing with friends and we came across a barracks of 20 plus sleeping guards, I guess you can say. And it was kind of like, let me try my thing before y'all do anything. I was the only rogue in the class. I didn't need any buffs. I was able to roll and basically unalive every single one of them. And it felt really, really good to, to do that. And it was like, don't mess with the rogue. Got it. That was a lot of fun. Vic Phillips 04. Hey, Vic. Okay, who we got? Favorite season. And favorite thing, oh, favorite thing to do in that season. I'm like, favorite season of, like, movie, no, or movie, show. Um, I really like spring. I like all the vivid, even though I wear a lot of black, I like all the vivid colors that start coming back from the flowers um, and the rain, which it just hits different, like, you know, in fall when it's raining versus in spring when it's raining. Favorite thing to do would be, like, window cracked, or open depending on what level of like rain it is, but just listening to the rain, like with a good book. Super enjoy that. Um, who we <laughs> Tumbling Weed hey, asks, what's the difference between your single life before and your married life now? Um, I have someone I can like bug and it's a different level between like me and my siblings which is great he tolerates me very much so um oh are you good sorry <laughs> it was the oaks um i guess that would be oh i squeeze you gotta cover your mouth when you yawn missy big difference though I mean, he feeds me, but, you know, like, Mama Foolish would feed us. I don't do as many microwave dinners because he feeds me, which is, which is great. Which I know I've said before, if you don't cook, find somebody who does because it just works out. And vice versa. If you cook, find someone who doesn't. Okay, who we got? Lush P underscore. Who is your favorite sibling? It's Moo. Spoiler. It's, it's Moo. I call her Teddy. Uh, which I have a teddy bear tattoo for her. I also have a tattoo of Athena for the other sister, Emily, or Amelia, as I call her. Don't have any of the boys yet, so that kind of shows where it stands, but definitely Moo. Do you think Oakley has a favorite toy? Yes, which... Oh, no, I'm going to butcher your name. I'm so sorry. Tara on Neptune, now that I can see it, Tara on Neptune asked, do you think Oakley has a favorite toy? She does. It is, when we adopted her, she came with two toys. And the one that she likes more is, uh, is it down here? Oh, oh, is it right here? If I can grab it. It's a green ball. Squeaky ball with the teeth on it. But she, ooh, she punctured it more. But the back of it, she punctured it one day. it to squeak it takes a lot for it to squeak now but like it's it's not the same and I can't find a replacement anywhere the only one I've been able to find is a treat ball so like there's a hole in the back for you to put treats and then the dog you know has to get the treats out I cannot find a squeaky ball of it though and this doesn't work as it used to so like I need to basically take her shopping for a new one but that is her all-time Favorite toy. For sure. Your name gets cut off. Who are you? It's not Noam. No AM. I'm sorry. But hi, Andy. Do you think that 16-year-old you would be proud of where you are right now? Yes, but she would be more surprised that I'm married. Because even at that age, it was kind of like, even when I was little, um, I would always be like, yeah, I'm going to move out west, get some dogs and horses. I have one dog, <laughs> have not moved out of Ohio, do not have any horses, but the husband does not put it past me to one day maybe get one, which I would absolutely love that. Um, but yeah, 16 year old me would, would be proud, but still kind of like, what do you mean you found somebody? 
Uh, Willa the Witch. Ooh, I really like your username. Hi. Um, asks multiple questions. I am here for this. Let's answer them. Favorite color, black. Hands down. And again, if you don't count it, it's blue. And then purple, then green. Favorite flower. Um, favorite flower. Probably because of my husband, but he would get roses with baby's breaths for me and hydrangeas, which was actually like my wedding bouquet. It was all white. Um, so either between the roses with the baby's breath or hydrangeas, they're, they're pretty. What's something you're passionate about other than YouTube? Writing. Like absolutely hands down writing. Um, I've actually self-published a book, which I'm too lazy to go get it over there. Um, but um, super passionate about writing and reading as well. But like, I'm super dyslexic. So it kind of throws a wrench in the plans, but like, I'm still trucking along. Uh, I just, I just like being creative, making up worlds and characters that people love and just like, you know, breaking readers hearts. <laughs> Always fun to do. If you went to college, what did you major in? After high school, I actually had a really stressful time at high school because of outside forces, as in st certain students. And I wanted to take a gap year, but my parents were kind of like, you should go for a year. And I did. I went to a, a basic kind of college that was close to home. I didn't board. I did that for one year, but I didn't major in anything. I just took like the super basic classes, like the that the credits could transfer to somewhere else if I wanted to go anywhere else um, but I did it for a year and then I started working at a photography studio so then I not dropped out of college but I dropped out but I was learning a trade which I was still interested in photography I would run around with um, our family camera so like I was still learning something and I was at the studio for like five years before I moved on but I absolutely love photography um do you want any fancy knives or swords no as much as I talk about daggers I actually don't and like not counting like kitchen knives I actually don't but it's on my list but everything is so pretty and I would want to buy all of them so I haven't bought any because I know once I start it's gonna go my husband has a butterfly knife somewhere that I like toy with every now and again what do you do as a job? So at my current job, I've actually been in like three different departments already since I started a few months ago. And right now, uh, without like naming everything, I deal with, um, I guess you could say the mortgage industry in the sense of when you're closing on a house, um, I deal with the hybrid, which is like you sign documents digitally and then the rest at the title agency. So I deal with hybrids. That's my current position as of right now. And I've been doing that for like a month, but I love it. I love my team. We're super small. It's great. Um, what's some life advice you'd give the youngins? Do the thing. Yeah. If you if you heard her, she she agreed with me. Do the thing, um, as long as it doesn't cause like bodily harm. Do the do the thing. Go travel. Go take the <coughs> oh glee. Okay, now she's alert barking. She's being a German Shepherd. Oh glee, come here, come here. Or she was agreeing. Oh glee, come here. Don't you talk back? Come here. Oakley. Lie down. Okay, ignoring her. Uh, motion at my front door. No wonder she was going like that. Uh, Foosh underscore bean, hi. Asks, favorite outfit. Love your style. Oh, thanks. Favorite outfit. Um, I mean, like, comfort-wise, it would be, spoiler, everything's all black, but an oversized pullover 
joggers that have zipper pockets specifically um is a good go-to comfy lazy or just like an oversized hoodie being comfortable being comfortable for sure is my favorite oh you ask a lot of questions this next person oh no i fell asleep because i wasn't moving my mouse are we still good though are we still good yeah we're still good Ugh, why did nobody tell me i messed up my hair Ooh. Ooh. okay um i don't want to look too ugly okay who we got next i'm gonna butcher this slime sickle hi you have a whole thread Ooh, okay i'm here for it i'm here for it what's the first tv show you remember watching pokemon like pokemon always what minecraft mob would be the best musician um here's the here's the thing my younger siblings play minecraft i don't i've watched them before so like what minecraft mob can i just say foolish and puns does that does that make sense if i say that um you get to add one real life animal as a minecraft mob which would you choose a wolf they got good backup vocals and whatnot um would you rather live in an in real life minecraft dirt house or live on a diet of only food and minecraft i think only food because they've got stuff that i that i eat bread mm, always good if you could only stream mobile games found in the app store what games would you pick pokemon go because that's what i play <laughs> If you had to erase, erase one group in the food pyramid, fruits, veggies, grains, meat, dairy, from existence forever, what would you pick? Veggies. Like, veggie. If you know me, that does not surprise you. Veggies. There are some that I like, such as, like, edamame. Maybe a salad, but a very plain salad. Um... Not the biggest fan of it. Could never get rid of meat or, like, fruit. Like, veggies, hands down. Uh, what's your least favorite book? My least favorite? I typically like books. Is there one I, like, read in high school that I didn't like? Not gonna lie, Great Gatsby. It didn't click with me. It wasn't my, my thing. I read it for one of my... English classes and it just it wasn't my favorite sorry if you like that that's a good question though least favorite book apple juice orange juice or grape juice ah uh, it's like a really big tie between orange juice and grape juice I'm just messing with that so it doesn't fall asleep whoops but like for real though chocolate milk <laughs> if I had to say in your opinion, what is the most mediocre fruit? Mediocre? I think bananas. I do not like bananas. No. If you're forced to eat a one meter cube of any inedible Minecraft block, no honey, melon, etc., which block would you choose? Um... This is the thing, I don't play Minecraft, so I can only think of, like, sand, I don't know if water counts, lava? <laughs> that would, that would hurt, I hate spicy things, not lava, abort mission. Um, let's just say brick, if that makes, if that makes sense. Um, you have to make the strangest bumper sticker with only five words or less in it, what does it say? SSN, and it does not stand for what you think it does. It's something my husband says that then I say that then other people say. SSN, just those three letters, which, spoiler, 
It stands for suck shit nerd, <laughs> which I think is really funny. I got somebody else to say it recently too. Um, what is your least favorite hour of the day? My least favorite hour? When I wake up for work. So like six o'clock. I'm not a morning person. I'm a night owl. Do not like mornings at all. Okay, now I have to go back because that was a thread. Okay. Oh no, I don't want to butcher your name. I'm so sorry, Odd. Somnia Odd? Hi. Uh, what's, it, what's it like being so cool? I would have to get back with you on that because I don't know. <laughs> I don't, like, I don't think it's cool. Next. Okay, sorry. Next. Confused Totem. Hey, I know you. What was your childhood like? You have a few questions. Okay, to answer them one by one, what was your childhood like? A lot of running around. A lot of horseback riding and reading and playing video games with, like, the older brother. So, like, when the Pokemon games would come out, he would get one, I'd get the other. We'd both play. Um, that was a lot of fun. Swimming. What inspired you to make YouTube videos? Um, going, circling back to the, like, if I can make people laugh. I think it's fun. Which, that's what I do in my, I, my friend group. Like, I will, I will say, do funny things, and then it's just like, this is why we keep you around. And I'm like, you're welcome. You're going to live longer because you're laughing a lot because of me. Fave movie and TV show. TV show, like TV, not like anime including, sorry. I would say Supernatural because I love paranormal mythology and, like, just the show was super, super good. Fave movie. Might have to say the third Harry Potter, cycling back to my favorite book. Because, like, that movie was, like, how they should have been, how they should have looked, and all of that. Like, Harry's crazy hair. Sorry. It's stuck. Hazy. Harry's crazy hair. When's your birthday? July 17th. So, I am a July Cancer baby. Don't you sigh. I can't even, I don't even know when you were born. That makes me so sad of, like, we adopted Oakley... She had no history, so I don't know, like, her birthday, which we're going to say is the day we adopted her, which happens to be my husband's birthday, because um, I left work a little bit early to go get her, and it was like, hey, um, we're getting a dog today, which he knew it would happen, but just, like, the, any, any day it happened to be his birthday, so that's kind of cute. Um, you also ask, am I the coolest person you know on Twitter? Hell yeah. You're super great. You're funny. I really like interacting with you. It's great. Um, I already showed you a picture of my dog. Because Willow the Witch came back and was like, show us your dog right now. This is a threat. And I said, bet. Here's a pic. Uh, foolish arsonist. Hey, hey, arson. Have you ever tried Indian food? And if so, did you like it? I recall having it like only a few times. I do not like spice. I do not like spicy. Um, I tolerate salt and pepper. Like soy sauce, yes. Anything else is a hard no. Very, very hard no. Um, I will cry. Um... But with that type of Indian food, a friend and I got it and I like had to specify no spice. Like no spice. I don't have the, the thing down here. I forgot I had a hat though. Haha, -ha, what's it say on it? Undercover mermaid. Because I like my hats. Whoop, you're going backwards though. Um, <laughs> it's hitting the back of the chair, lols. Have you ever... I enjoyed it to an extent, but I wouldn't go back to it because, again, I do not do spice. It is not my favorite. Um, I was making a grab as if it was still there. The husband recently ordered Chinese food, and we both got the same thing. He got the spicy version of it, and I got the no spicy. And they wrote on mine saying, no spice, <laughs> no spicy. 
Um, so that was, that was fun. Um, but yeah, so those are all of the questions. Thank you all for taking the time to ask me the little tidbits. Maybe you learned some new things about me. Um, other things, I'm trying to think of what I can even add to this. Like, I'm one of five kids. I'm the second oldest, oldest girl, which is a nice, a nice flex, I think. Um, I have a husband and a dog. Only one dog for now. I have warned him there will be more. Um, <laughs> we have a condo right now, which we're lucky. It actually has three different floors to it, which is super nice. But it would definitely be too crowded if we got another dog because I want another shepherd. Um, which Oakley is a German shepherd golden retriever mix. Um, but I definitely want another shepherd. The husband likes pugs, which are small. And they snort a lot. The day he said my laugh sounds like a pug snorting, I was like, no, you're done. You're done. But I will say he wants an all black pug and a boy, so he can name it Aries. So he is the pug of war. So I'll give him that. But I also wanted an all black pug male dog, granted a German Shepherd. Um, I got Oakley. <laughs> she was the only female exception I was willing to look at. So that made me happy that we got her. Maybe I'll do another video of, of Oakley, of how Oakley came around. Oh, baby. Oh, now you're quiet. Now that there's nobody walking nearby. Yeah, always fun getting a, getting a working dog. Which, I knew what I signed up for, but sometimes it's like you don't have to bark every single, every single time. We're working on it, though, with her. We'll see how that goes. Um, so I guess that's a good point to end the video because I answered all your questions. Thanks again. Bye. Hey, it's Little Adorable. Hey, it's Little Adorable. Um, and then... Hey, it's Little Adorable. Thanks for what? Um, hey, it's Little Adorable. Coming at you with a different kind of video this time. Finger comes.